This week, Joe Biden announced several key nominations and appointments for cabinet positions, communications teams, and economic teams. Joining me to discuss is University of Maryland lecturer, Dr. Jason Nichols. Uh, Jason, very, very good to have you back. Uh, you know, I, I, the one that struck me, and I think Kaylee McEnany really had a problem with this, is that Joe Biden announced the all-female top-level communications team, which is great, fantastic, I get it. But Kaylee McEnany points out they have the same thing. In, meanwhile, Joe Biden is claiming it's the first time anyone has done that. Um, and the media, by the way, the lapdog media just kind of wags its tail and agrees with whatever Biden says. The truth of the matter is, all the top communication staff at, at the White House currently are female. Yes, uh, that is true. Um, I, I would say it depends on how you define uh, top level communication staff, because there certainly are a lot of the deputies happen to be uh, men. But at the same time, uh, I think the important thing that the Biden administration is trying to get across is that not only are they women, it's diverse women. So you have women of color, which the uh, Trump administration has zero. But at the same time, that these are people with experience. You have Bedingfield, who was, uh, you know, the comms director for uh, the vice president in the previous administration. You have Sak Pasaki, who was uh, now the press secretary or incoming press secretary who was comms director under Obama. You have Simone Sanders. You have people who have real gravitas in Washington and have real uh, experience, and you're not learning on the job, which is what we've seen a lot of times from the Trump administration. And at the same time, the, we know that this group is gonna work with the press. They're not gonna hide from the press. They're not gonna call the press the enemy. And I think that's why they're probably getting some of this favorable coverage. Well, they're getting favorable coverage, Jason, because the press it leans very hard left. Let's be honest with you. And and I, I'm I'm going back to President Obama. You go back president after president. The press leans left. They give. Let's just talk about a little bit about what's going on since Biden has been president elect. He's gotten questions like, "What are you going to do for Thanksgiving?" Hey, what do you think about Trump's tweet? Instead of asking hard hitting questions of the president elect, like. What's your answer to Antifa, violence in the streets? Or what is this mask mandate? Are you going to have a mask mandate? Because once you said you were going to nationally and then you weren't going to and then you were, you flipped back and forth. We haven't had those questions asked of this man. I get it's a honeymoon period, but Jason, when does the honeymoon period end and when are the press going to step up and earn their cred and start asking tough questions of this guy and Harris? Well, first of all, let me just say that I hope that the press or excuse me, the, the Biden administration doesn't hide from America this week. It doesn't hide from Sinclair. It doesn't hide from you or any of the they other. They do, Jason. Jason, they do. They do. Yeah, they do. I, I, For a better part of a year, we tried to get anyone from the Biden camp to come on the show, whether it's Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, any representative, any senior staff, any staff. Not only that, they just completely ignored the request. So all this, oh, it's going to be a real great relationship with the press is BS. It's going to be a great relationship with the left-leaning press who does nothing but throw them softballs and puff pillows as questions. Yeah, well, I, I can tell you this. I don't recall uh, Donald Trump doing any interviews on CNN. I don't recall him going on MSNBC. I don't recall him going in some of the left-leaning media. And, that, and that's understandable, particularly when you're running a, a campaign. I do remember, you know, uh, one of your, your old colleagues, uh, interviewing President Obama several times over, you know, over at that other network. So there are times where I think you're going to see Joe Biden, who's not going to hide from the press, and he's certainly not going to antagonize them. And I hope that they will uh, come on to to your program and to others and and to speak to that. And you know, the messaging won't be that Sinclair or other parts of the media are the enemy of the people. I think that that was a really problematic message that I think the press got really tired of and started going after and not recognizing some of the accomplishments of the Trump administration. So um, I think the Biden administration will have learned from that, not to antagonize the press, even the right wing media. There are some people we know uh, that are not going to give this administration a chance under any circumstances. I know that you're certainly more open minded and I hope that they give you that opportunity. Well, well, we'll try and we'll continue to ask, but my guess is 
My guess is we'll have an air ball for 2021 as well with anyone from the Biden or Kamala Harris camp. Jason, always good talking to you. And look, ask the tough questions. I have no problem with the Jim Acostas or the John Carls of ABC or Maggie Haberman with the New York Times giving President Trump a hard time because they ask the tough questions when he's president, keeping true, holding truth to power. You have to do that. But let's be fair now. Now let's turn it around and do the same thing to a Democrat who's occupying 1600. Jason Nichols, always good having you on. Thank you.